Irresistible is the newest film just released on VOD. It stars Steve Carell, Rose Byrne, and Chris Cooper, along with a bunch of other talented folk, and it's written and directed by, um, John Stewart. Okay, heck, why not? This is a political satire where Steve Carell plays a strategist for the Democratic Party named Gary Zimmer. One day, he sees a video gone viral of a retired Marine Colonel Jack Hastings, played by Chris Cooper, standing up for the rights of the undocumented workers living in his small hometown in Wisconsin. And Gary sees an opportunity to help this guy enter the race as mayor of this small town of Wisconsin, a swing state, as the method to help sway the country back into the Democratic Party's favor. But when the Republican Party counters him by sending in his professional nemesis, Faith Brewster, played by Rose Byrne, what starts out as a local race quickly becomes an out-of-control scramble with the soul of America hanging in the balance. FYI, before I get deeper into this review, my political opinions are going to stay out of this. Especially those that know me personally know my strong stances politically. So I'm going to be completely impartial here and just look at this as a movie and as a film critic. Now with that out of the way, I think there's a couple of things to like about Irresistible. I like all of these actors starring here first and foremost. Steve Carell, for example, always a super likable and happy presence whenever he appears on screen. And this right here is no exception. His chemistry with Rose Byrne, I think does wonders for this film. Their arguments, I actually found some of the more entertaining parts of the movie. And speaking of Rose Byrne, where did this performance come from? Anyone who's been following Rose Byrne's career from the start, this is a supremely different role for her. I know Rose Byrne mostly for her really, really likable presences in the leads of Neighbors and Instant Family, for example. But this film is not like those roles at all. I'll just leave it there. I think she plays this part very convincingly. She has shown incredible range here. Chris Cooper is in this movie as well as the mayoral candidate that Steve Carell's character is helping out. And I actually really liked his performance as well. Very formidable, very charismatic presence. All the actors should be commended for their work on this film. I thought it was stellar. This is certainly a good looking movie. It's very well shot, very crisply edited, which was a very welcome surprise. And that brings me to Jon Stewart, who I have enjoyed in some facets. Um, <laughs> he, his comedy is stuff that I tend to gravitate towards for sure. His commentary I have found to be hilarious from his time on The Daily Show. So when I found out that he was directing a feature film, I was like, you go, dude. I was definitely curious to see how this film was going to be directed, and Jon Stewart actually proves to be very capable behind the camera, which again is a very welcome surprise. There were a lot of shots in this film that really accentuated some of the comedic bits that he was going for. For example, there's a bit where Steve Carell is walking down some stairs in an alley, and it just really, really... <laughs> Man, it really drives that comedy home for that little sequence. But in talking about Jon Stewart does lead me to my biggest issue with the film, and that is the screenplay. Now, to his credit, a lot of this dialogue definitely sounds like Jon Stewart is saying it on The Daily Show. It's almost like an episode of The Daily Show from, like, the early 2000s all the way up to the mid-20-teens. It's almost like a Jon Stewart episode extended itself into the fictional narrative structure. And I think it's fair to say that I liked some of the comedy in this film. There were definitely some good one-liners and some good zingers throughout, but not all of them hit for me. And keep in mind, when Jon Stewart hosted The Daily Show, it's different now with Trevor Noah, I think it runs about an hour. The Daily Show when Jon Stewart was hosting was only about half an hour with commercials. So I felt like there were times where the film kind of overstayed its welcome. Because this feature triples that time. And keep in mind, I never said that the comedy in this movie was terrible. Jon Stewart, like I said, I found to be very funny. But there were times where I kind of felt the joke was getting a little bit old and a little bit hammered in. And that's another thing. There were also points where I feel like the conflict and the plot kind of was stretching itself out there were some there were definitely some slow spots and once i saw where the film was going i'm not going to spoil anything in case you haven't seen it yet but the film does have a plot twist ending and honestly this is an ending that kind of it kind of made me mad honestly not mad in the sense of like politics per se but to me the ending just didn't make any sense and not only that but i feel like the twist was kind of forced it's almost like how if you go to school, right, and you have this rubric for how your essay or your short scripts should look. It's almost like 
for an A on the script, one of the requirements was make sure you have a plot twist ending. That's what this felt like almost. I don't know, maybe that was the point in the sense of the ending shouldn't make any sense because the world itself doesn't exactly make a whole lot of sense right now. There's a lot of issues that are being made political when they really should not be made political. But nevertheless, I feel like Irresistible is a competently made, competently directed movie very, very good performances from everyone involved, especially Rose Byrne. Steve Carell gives off another very likable performance. However, I feel like there were too many elements of the screenplay that kind of bogged it down from taking it over the top. I'm going to give Irresistible a C. One more thing I will say on this movie, though. It does have a very important message by the end, and that is this. Make sure you go and vote in November. That one I could not agree with more. But let me know what you guys thought of Irresistible down in the comments below if you've seen it. Thank you so much as always for checking out the review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can if you like what you're seeing. You guys rock as always. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And with all that being said, back talk, commence.